in the sights of New Zealand, Perrine and Guillaume once again hit the road. Rambling about, driving, flying around, they're now headed to their second destination. Nipa! C'est un peu comme Annecy, euh, on est au bord d'un lac, on est à 800 mètres d'altitude et à 25 km, on est à 8200 mètres. Donc on est protégé par euh, les Annapurna, Machapuchare, Dolaguiri, Manaslu. On est derrière, puis nous on est en bas dans ce trou-là, au bord du lac. Donc on a un petit microclimat avec un super grand bocal. On n'a jamais de vent météo. Euh, D'ailleurs on ne regarde même pas la météo. Himalayas, Himalaya also. This is a real adventure for paragliding. If you're flying only Sarangkot and then down the Pewa Lake like a hundred times your life, a ah, shit, this is not really the adventure. I think that flying in Asia, and particularly in India and Nepal, is the interaction and the experience of flying with the big vultures. It's a privilege to be able to share the sky with these majestic birds of prey and following the same decisions that the bird makes and hopefully benefiting from their amazing flying skills. Moi je les aime bien quand même, j'ai beaucoup d'affection pour les vautours. Mais c'est les rentes en plein du ciel. Hein. Ça vole bien, mais euh, ça vole bien comme nous on vole bien. Nous, un parapente, on vole vachement bien. Mais on vole vachement bien s'il y a les conditions. S'il n'y a pas de conditions, les vautours, ils sont comme des nazes posés au sol et ils ne volent pas. Quoi. Des fois, lui, il est au sol, il hésite à partir, il voit un parapente passer et bah, il y va. Et toi, tu es là et tu vois un vautour passer, tu y vas. Donc des fois, bah, tout le monde attend qu'il y en ait un qui décolle et puis euh, bah, c'est au premier qui décollera pour que les autres y aillent. Adventure is a never ending and never find your destination. Keep going, keep you follow, even you never find. That's just a paragliding. Go where you like. Your bird is a freedom. That's just a paragliding in the Himalaya. city of Pakara, flying over rivers, rice paddies, high passes, forests and mountains. Same like when I'm flying, top of the cumulus, everything I down, I'm feeling really freedom, no one disturb, no one trust me, I'm really My super energy, I can do anything, I make me happen, everything. In the area of the Himalaya, the people who are living in the world are living in the world. The people who are living in the world are living in the world. 
उनको संस्कार पछ्याई रह कारण मैं हिमालय एरिया को मं मन प même jamais sorti nos sacs ou on n'aurait jamais été au fond là. Ici, si ça part aucune âme, ça part vite aucune âme. Euh, entre le moment où tu te réveilles et le moment où tu as décidé d'aller voler, c'est déjà parti aucune âme. Mais souvent, on vole et derrière, c'est congestus. Congestumulus. Parce que c'est pas vraiment un congestus, c'est un petit congestus. Et donc, tu vas au pied du congestus, c'est rarement méchant. Où on s'approche un peu. Hier, on était dessous et puis c'était un gentil mulus. Hein. When I fly and there aren't any birds in the sky, it's still a great feeling. I still enjoy the challenge of staying in a thermal or moving across country because you don't fly with birds every day. And I only fly because I fly with birds. That's the reason I fly. That's the reason I learn to fly. That's the reason I fly every day. So vultures, for thousands and thousands of years, their sole role in life is to clean up the animal carcasses. So in the last 20 years, the vulture numbers across Asia have been declining at an alarming rate. And this is because of a drug called diclofenac. And it's a veterinary drug that's administered to cows and livestock. In Hindu culture, cows are sacred. So therefore, the cow meat is not typically consumed by humans. So when the cow dies, it's just simply discarded. Unfortunately, when the animal dies with diclofenac still in its system and the vulture feeds from the animal carcass, the vulture dies from uh, kidney and liver failure. And it can kill them in their hundreds from one feeding. So in the last 20 years, we've lost about 40 million birds because of diclofenac. I'd like to, uh, every pilot, not just the flying community in Pokhara, but every pilot flying all over the world, think of the reasons why we started to fly. Think of the things that inspired us to fly. Think of the things that we enjoy the most about flying. Think of the time that you had the best encounter with the bird and the memories that you have of flying. So therefore, we have to try and protect the birds that we fly with. We should understand more about the sky, not just the clouds and the weather, but the birds that we fly with. The birds that we fly with.